Fantendo using his member chat. Buying Holo Taco is easier than buying Taylor Swift tickets. Collection sets remaining 61%. But, oh fuck. <laughs> If a goat has been given in your name to a child or family in need? Ben, did you just buy a goat? Yeah! Hello everyone, did you enjoy the spill? Should we just go back to that? We can, we could just go back to this. <laughs> Today is the Holo Taco Magnetic Magic Collection launch. I'm so excited, it's Holo Taco's Holiday launch, so yes, this is our holiday collection. Menchi, I cannot see my screen. I can't see the chat. Chat, where are you? Are you ready to see the box? Ah! The Holo Taco Magnetic Magic Collection featuring five new magnetic polishes. That's right, for the first time, Holo Taco is doing a magnetic formula. We have never had this before. This is the first one, and when I tell you the work that went into it, oh my God. Do you believe in magnets? You have to sing it. Okay, that's the rule. One magnet comes for free inside each box. I need you to understand and appreciate the specialty film on this box. It is hollow. Kind of a colorful splash of gradient in a midnight sky with uh, kind of stars that are in the bit of a shape of kind of how the magnetic effect looks. Okay, let's look at my nails. It's so pretty. A lot of magnetic polish on the market. It's quite dark, and I wanted our first Holo Taco magnetic collection to be more vibrant and more exciting. No shade to the darker ones, I like them too. We'll probably do them at some point. But I really wanted these to be really obvious from afar. Limited edition box, the polishes are not limited edition. It's up, so you can shop it now at uh, holotaco.com. All those little lines are orders being dispatched. Look at that, go Europe, shout out to Europe. Australia, there's a couple people People there? What is it like? 3 a.m. Who's this? Hold on. It it, it moves too quickly. <laughs> There's too many of you. I need a minute. Do you have tea? By the way, Ben is responsible for this. Oh, that's why it's not updated. Let's look. Let's look. Magnetics. Mmm. We have each shade you can also purchase individually and every order of magnetic polish comes with a free wand. So you shouldn't have to purchase a wand separately. It's one wand per order. And here's the swatches. So this is done using the traditional, probably the easiest magnetic design, which is called the cat eye or the diagonal line. And also some people use the wand slightly differently. So you're seeing a little bit of variance there. It's totally normal. All right, let me read this. Create some magic on your tips this holiday season with the Holo Taco Magnetic Magic Collection in five captivating shades that'll make holiday guests wonder. But how? We know you believe in Holo. Now do you believe in magnets? Collection sets remaining 61%. That was your first update? It's been 12 minutes. Let's watch the video. Let's just watch the freaking video. Magnetic wand. Look, this is what it does. What? What? New magnetic formula with hollow micro flakes. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Ah! One thing I do wanna say is these are incredibly pigmented bright colors. So if you're prone to staining, these might stain. Now, personally, I don't care about staining cause like whatever, I just paint my nails anyways. But I am giving that warning. These pigments are incredibly pigmented. So do what you need to if you care about staining. Shake the pigments so they get distributed. Thick but even coat. And this is necessary because if you do it too thin, it's gonna start to dry and you want it to be really wet. But when you activate it with the wand, you can A, hover it directly over the nail. This is the easier way. The magnet's underneath my finger. It does tend to work a little bit better for longer nails or th thin fingers. I don't know how to describe this, but I'm like, the, the length, no, the depth of your finger. But if you have like extra juicy fingertips, then maybe you won't see as strong of a line. <laughs> hovering it on top of the nail might be more effective for some fingernail types. <laughs> Leg band? <laughs> oh my God. Okay, no, it still works. Let me just say, Ben's got juicy fingertips, but it was actually a good way to demo that there is a little bit di of a difference for thicker fingertips. We love all fingertips though. We love all nails. Hold still. This is the number one thing that people mess up on. They will either hover or sit on it 
for like 10 seconds and then they'll be like, oh, I see the stripe and then they'll take it away. And then the pattern will fade drastically. And that happens because you didn't allow enough time for the pigments to settle and dry with the wand holding them in place. Very important, very important. You have to lock it in with the taco. You have to magnetize on the glossy taco layer. And that's because this is your final step where the pigments are drying in place. And if you just top coat and make the polish wet again, and then you're not magnetizing, they're gonna spread. <laughs> Love spell, ooh! Wow, stunning. Look, look, okay, can I just say, <gasps> this shade, actually. What color is this shade? <laughs> Yo, I'm in the mood to fight. Go ahead and vote in the poll. What color is love spell? Is it pink or is it red? It is predominantly whatever color you're voting it to be, but it also has a beautiful kind of shimmery shift to a golden sunset hue. You see the hollow sparkle? The hollow is so pretty. Have a watch. Try and watch four things at once. Go. Uh, which one are you paying attention to? 72% said it's pink. 72% <laughs> think this is pink. Does that solve it? Or are 27% of you gonna get mad when I call this pink? Cause it is definitely pink. Twice in a blue moon. Listen, I know blue has not been a good seller at Holo Taco. Aww. But I don't care because as a magnetic polish, this is just stunning. Like, come on, what is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> it's like aqua, deep ocean, deep space ocean, aqua marine almost. It kind of looks royal blue in some lights. Look at those sexy, juicy fingies. Wicked potion. Okay, you guys guessed it. There's a green. You knew there was a green. Okay, this one though. Mm, deep, dark, classic, antique emerald green. Look, look, do you see how there's like almost two colors of green in it? There's this kind of brighter green and then there's a more subdued, heavenly green. I don't know how do you describe this. It's great for Christmas. We've got Queen's Curse, a purple. Detectives know that I told them that there would be X amount of purples left in the air. This was, this was the last purple. <laughs> this is a beautiful purple. It has two colors of purple in it. You can kind of see in this, in this picture. So you can see it has the prominent, very royal purple. And then at the far end, it has a little bit of a shift to a more subdued kind of amethyst purple. Would you describe it? I don't know. Someone else tell me what color that is. And then last up, we've got fairy tail. Tail, like on my cat, it's a cozy bronze. I wanted to give the option of having a more neutral option for those who wanted to explore magnetics, but like didn't want, you know, hot pink or red or blue. It's also very classic kind of acorn chestnut Christmas roasting by the fire kind of colors. We have an update from Ben. The best selling magnetic polish is Queen's Curse. I mean, it's purple. Admire them under different lighting. Daylight shade, indoor spotlight, phone flash. The second best-selling magnetic polish is Twice in a Blue Moon. Yeah, I believe it. <laughs> this became this. Okay, behind the scenes. Great gifting option. Do you have a friend who likes nail polish? Do you have a friend who likes impressive nail polish? Well, you can get them this. Magnetized with a cat eye. Not magnetized, the polish alone, which still looks beautiful. So in case you're like, ugh, I don't wanna magnetize today. There you go. Stunning, the polishes look just as beautiful in this, the same color, but you don't have the magnetic stripe or whatever pattern you do. They will still be hollow regardless of which way you wear them. Beautiful, I'm so happy with this formula, how it turned out. Flaky toppers over magnetics will be epic. Oh, when I tell you, I just wanna tell you right now, this is where you unlock the magic. There's something just so fucking beautiful about having a magnetic that gives you that 3D line and then picking a topper that changes the color. Like what? It's so pretty. Okay, so that's Love Spell and uh, I'll leave it to you and the all the combos fan club <laughs> to do more combos because the possibilities are endless. This is ridiculous. So I got twice in a blue moon. So all you blue lovers out there, let's get some blue hearts in the chat. Do you see the line moving? Oh, oh, oh. What is this magic? Look at all the blue lovers in chat. I really love this blue. Does chat know what that one in the middle is? What, what is that you say? Unreleased taco, detectives chat currently going wild. This is the last three shades. Green, mean green, wicked potion machine. Queen's curse, 
Is it still the top seller, Ben? All right, Queen's Curse is still the top selling individual shade. Fairy tale, look. So you do obscure a little bit of the magnetic stripe when you add the more uniform washes of toppers. But I still think there's something like sophisticated kind of that, that looks very pretty. That all these possibilities, there is something in here that has probably spoken to every one of you. Some of you are like, I need that one, I need this one. And there's even more possibilities than what I did here, but this is all the time I had and it took a while. Oh, what is this? These are the new shades, but mattified with matte taco. Okay, why is this cool? In a depressing galaxy very close by, there was a matte taco over top of magnetic polish polishes. Just like your Star Wars day nails. Oh my God. Are the detectives here? Are the detectives in the chat? I'm, I made a video, I made a slideshow. In my Discord server, simply an illogical official Discord server, there's a channel called Hollow Taco Detectives, where a certain group of people will congregate and share their investigative work for what they think I'm releasing. Think is the key word, okay? Sometimes they guess really well, and other times they... So let's take a look at the directions they went in this launch. The Simply Detective, that's their name, the Simply Detective, who's been around for a long time, snapped these screenshots. Where even was this? This was the first sighting of magnetic polish that I ever wore after Hollow Taco was launched. This was from over a year ago, like a year and a half ago. This polish was never released. <laughs> this was a very, very early prototype and it's not where we ultimately landed. Let's continue. What is this? Screenshots of my nails in a simply bake logical. Someone knew, but I saw you argue over whether or not this was a magnetic polish. It was this, and then you caught this, me in the podcast. The specific angle <laughs> that detectives screenshotted it. They were like, no, 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 it's definitely magnetic, listen. Okay, and then I posted a Snapchat of me copywriting and it was very blurry. Like, what is this? This is what I posted on the right. And then they did this. They were like, it says full coverage. It could be glitter formula. It could be chrome formula. It could be metallic formula. It could be Lee formula. This one looks very likely. What the hell is this? Okay. <laughs> what are you guys doing? What is this? You're looking at the font? Oh no, you found out. That we use the font family, Montserrat. Evidence exhibit one, evidence exhibit two, three, four, and five. Could it be that simply in the lab was using magnetics all along? This was very wrong. There's absolutely no hint of magnetics in this photo at all. <laughs> there are good detectives, and then there are hollow taco detectives. Say, you saw magic in some of the first teasers, but you don't know what this said, just said ick. Was it magnetic? Some people thought it could be magnetic. Oh, there were lots of clues. Contemplating the color palette? You guys were so close. What's this? The first collection box sighting behind- What, what are you drawing? <laughs> what the fuck is this? This feels so invasive. This is a close up of my manicure after two weeks of wearing one coat black over the <laughs> magnetic collection. You're zooming in on my chipped tips? Great work, guys, great work. And then there was goats. There was a lot of goats. There, there was a lot of goats. Why was there so many goats? And then there was this. And I don't know what the fuck was happening. Then there was this. Midnight Spark is orange. Can someone please tell me what the hell is going on? They were doing so great. They were doing so well, but they got sidetracked. Okay, the real story is, um, is that I put a goat emoji in the royalty email when I gave them the shade description and picture of fairy tale. It's fairy tale, like an animal tail. Get it? <laughs> fairy tale. Who's grown? Yes. For whatever reason, detectives decided that must be a hint about goats. I'm just gonna guess that this is them trolling me. Be careful what you wish for, detectives, because I just might release a purple and call it orange. And that concludes our review of the Hollow Choco Detectives. Shout out to Discord Mods for managing Goatgate 2022. Ben got the detectives a gift. A gift of a goat has been given in your name to a child or family in need. Ben, did you just buy a goat? Ben! Ben, this is not the first goat Ben has bought. It's for a goat cause. 
Who wants to peel? Do you want to peel? I would love to peel some magnetic peely lids. Ready? This would make a, a stunning decal. Yes, I say it like decal. Like you could totally do something like this on your mat. Actually here, do you want to do that right now? I'm like, where is it? Okay, I don't have a tool with me, but just, just for fun, let's just do this. You would let this dry and maybe half an hour later, half an hour to an hour is you would just peel it up and then you could just take it and cut it out to shape your nail. Stick it on your nail by applying a base coat on your nail and then the decal and then a top coat to help seal the edges. And when I put the top coat on, I would probably also put my finger under the magnet in the same orientation as that line. That's why everyone is buying all the magnets, one for each nail, time saving. Don't do that! Safety warning, no, 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 no. Listen, guys, unless your hand is like the biggest hand I've ever seen and you can spread your fingers apart, like one finger over here and one over here, do not do that. This will be your nail being crushed by metal, painfully. <laughs> but, oh, fuck, fuck! <laughs> do you understand now? You understand, there's a wand underneath there. Okay, you see, accidents happen. <laughs> Big Fs in the chat. And on that note, thanks so much for watching. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.